It's another episode of Try This, and today we have all the juicy details on what it's like to set up and install a 450XH Automower Epos Edition from Husqvarna. Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on crappy products that just don't live up to their promises? Well, what are you waiting for? Try this. Introducing Arctic Air. This is liquid drywall. Introducing the Bavarian Edge. Welcome to the show where I save you time and money exposing shitty products. Welcome to Try This. It is now day one of installation. Today is going to be all the preparation to prepare for the automower dealer to come out and install the mower. We have to all around the perimeter of the yard weed whack the grass down because I'm gonna end up having to drive the mower um, along the boundary to define the boundary. And if we have really tall grass, it might struggle getting through it. Also have to pull up all of this boundary wire that I was using to try and splice back together my old mower. I'm not going to need it anymore. Um, Amazon was kind of unclear as to whether they were going to take it back or not. I told them I'm going to do my best to not damage it, but you know, some of the stuff just you can't reuse. So I don't know what the outcome of that's going to be, but I'll let you know. So this is going to be a really big pain and any of the wire that is actually still buried, like old wire, I'm just going to leave it in the ground. I don't really need to pull that up. Um, and you're going to have to excuse the crunching. I've got this on because I'm doing dirty work and it helps keep all the dirt and all the wet, gross stuff off of me. So I'm going to pull up all this old wire and try and spool it up back on the reel. So yeah, you're probably looking at my yard going, well, that doesn't look like a disaster. It looks like it's been freshly cut. That's because my neighbor over there was nice enough to come over and offer to cut my yard with his zero turn mower. Of course, he couldn't get it all the way into the backyard and I'll show you why in a little bit, but this is how tall my grass was. 
and I did leave the backyard tall because I wanted to be able to demonstrate and show how well it cuts through really high grass, but you can see that is really tall. It's so tall it's beginning to, uh, to seed here. So yeah, this is my backyard, and that bridge right there is why uh, my neighbor couldn't come into the backyard and mow the backyard because his mower wouldn't fit across that. But I went around and weed whacked the perimeter of the yard um, just so that we'd have a nice flat surface to drive the mower around because you will need to drive the mower on its first um, time around the perimeter to define where the edge of your lawn is. Here we can have a first look at the brand new auto mower 450XH. And you can see... This is the new mower. The charging station is pretty much identical to the old one. And then there's my old mower that's still in the uh, its little doghouse right there with the wire coiled up and everything. So right now we're trying to figure out where to mount the reference station and you need to mount it high up on the roof and it needs to have a clear line of sight to the mower which is down there and also a clear view of the sky for the satellites. All right, so now I'm going to be installing the base station as well as the charger. This is all the wire that comes with it for uh, getting the mower powered up. You have these really long screws that you will screw into the base station. They fit down in these, pe in these holes here to secure it to the ground, just like my old mower. So the uh, installation of the base station will be pretty much identical to the 450X that I had previously. We're just swapping out the old equipment for new equipment just for, you know, the sake of I paid a lot of money and I want the new wiring in and everything. So this is the wire that connects the charging station up to the transformer that's inside my house. This is the old wire. We're just going to reuse it. We're going to change out the transformer because this wire actually disconnects from the uh, charging station here. And it also can disconnect from the transformer. So I really don't have to replace this wire. It's just uh, too much of a hassle to go pulling it out from underneath of my deck because it runs underneath the deck and then all the way over there to that door and inside. So here's where we're going to install the reference station on this side of the house so that it can have a nice clear view of the uh, mower in its charging station. And that's what the reference station looks like up on the house. And then we're gonna have to run power all the way down and around and inside the house back where the mower actually is powered from. You can see that tiny dot in the middle of the screen up there on my roof, that's the reference station, and the power wire runs down from that, and then along the side of the house. You can see uh, right up in here, we tucked the wire up into the siding so that it would be kind of hidden and you know tacked up there without having to like put staples or whatever you know into the side of the house. And then the wire runs all along up there. And unfortunately, I didn't have a really good solution. Maybe I can figure something out, but you can see the wire, you know, comes from up there and then runs down along this door jam here and then down inside. Now that we're inside, I wanted to show you what the power transformers look like. And yes, you can mount these outside in like a waterproof box. However, those never stay waterproof permanently and eventually they will fail. And so I just like to put, you know, anything power related inside as much as possible. These are the power transformers. I just screwed them into the wall here, tidied up the cables. The cables run out the bottom of the door and outside to the mower. And of course it's on a protected outlet for surge protection just in case. 
because I have had lightning hit my neighbor's house and then travel into my yard and fry one of my mowers once before. And then of course you can see here, these are the connectors for the cable. You can actually disconnect the cable between the mower and these power transformers. So if the transformer goes bad, you don't have to go fishing your cable from underneath your deck or wherever you have it. There's the other connector. This smaller one is for the reference station and the larger one is for actually charging up the mower. Since this video is going over all the installation for the 450XH EPOS edition from Husqvarna, I figured that I would talk about my experience with Otmo of Cincinnati. And if I had the chance to do it all over again, would I actually hire them and pay them to install the mower? Well, the short answer is no, and it has nothing to do with the quality of the installation or really anything to do with Otmo of Cincinnati themselves. It's mainly just the price. At $600 for them to do a 15 to 20 minute job, just climbing up on a ladder, screwing in the mounting pole and, you know, basically putting the reference station up there and then running a wire. After watching them do it, I was like, Pfft. I could have done that easily myself and saved $600, but I was just kind of in a hurry. I just wanted to get it done and over with, you know, and sometimes impatience, um, being impatient comes to bite you in the butt. Um, now I could see if you were disabled and you couldn't climb ladders and that kind of stuff. Yeah, you're going to be kind of forced to pay the $600, but I definitely, if I had the chance to do it all over again, I would install the unit myself. I wanted to give a huge shout out to everyone over at Otmo. There'll be a link in the description box below to their website or right down here on screen. They have been absolutely fantastic, especially the team over here at the uh, Cincinnati division of Otmo. Um, I originally started all the way back in right around, I think 2018, maybe even before then, when Otmo was a brand new company out of Columbus, Ohio. I was driving up there to meet with the owner to check out the, at the time, relatively new RoboMo system, loved the thing, bought the thing. And then when I upgraded to the Husqvarna auto mower series, I went back up to Columbus and picked up one of those. And ever since I've been with that company, just loving the products that they sell and loving their service. So big shout out. This video was not sponsored by them or Husqvarna. I purchased the mower with my own money, but I just wanted to give them a big shout out and recommend them. That's gonna do it for this episode of the Automower series. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out the links in the description box below if you'd like to see the other videos in this series. As always, I'll see you on another episode of Try This.